Hello there everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought it would be nice to talk about some of the mental health benefits of practicing witchcraft. Practicing witchcraft can bring so much richness to your life in many different ways, one of which being your mental health. And as it's been a year and a half since I've started really focusing in on my own mental health, I thought this would be a perfect time to discuss the benefits that witchcraft has. Hello, with the help of Miss Girl. I'm filming when I usually am done with work. I know, is this, is this when I usually spend some time with you? I know. Here, why don't you come sit with me? Okay. Oh, okay, new fit. Oh, big yawn. Oh, yes, that was perfect, thank you. Okay. Now that we are kind of settled, let's keep, let's keep moving. So for today's video, I compiled a list of seven different ways that witchcraft is beneficial for our mental health. But before we get too deep into it, this video is sponsored and what a perfect sponsor it is. So let's hear more about that. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Over the past year and a half, I've made my mental health a top priority. As someone who has struggled with my physical health for much of my life, my mental health was something that was just always put on the back burner. But a year and a half ago, I needed to make a change. All the years of neglecting my mental health had caught up with me. I was anxious, depressed, and extremely burnt out. And I was unable to go about my day-to-day -day life in a healthy way. So I began to go to therapy. Therapy has been one of the most positive and life-changing forces in my life. Through this, I've grown so much, been able to unpack the stories of my life that make me who I am, and I've developed the ability to manage my emotions and see them in a way that doesn't interrupt my life. In this time, I've become a huge proponent for therapy, and I truly believe that it is such a valuable tool for every individual. And all this is why I am so excited to partner with BetterHelp. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. All you need to do is go to their website, you can use my link Link betterhelp.com slash green witch. There you answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you to a professional with experience helping people with struggles just like yours. You can do it all from your phone or computer via phone call, video chat, or messaging, however you feel most comfortable. You'll be matched to a therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started fast. It truly is the easiest possible way to start talking to a therapist. So if you're looking to start your therapy journey or wish to start talking to someone quickly, let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you, all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash the green witch or choose the green witch during sign up and enjoy a special discount for your first month. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. Alrighty, welcome back. Let's dive in, shall we? Like I said before, this video is made up of seven different ways that witchcraft is beneficial for our mental health. I tried to order it in a way where they kind of led one into the other, so they all should have a pretty good flow. First and foremost, witchcraft helps us to practice mindfulness. This is pretty consistent regardless of what style of practice you have. Mindfulness is a huge part of spellcraft, of deepening your connection to either intuition or intent. And if you're someone who practices meditation, it is a big part of that as well. Personally, mindfulness is a huge part of my craft and something that has really benefited my life and my mental health in strong ways. I think especially in today's world with technology and the busyness of life, it's really easy to get caught up and consumed by everything going on and lose track of yourself. And with enough practice, it becomes very intuitive and just a base part of how you operate. So by practicing witchcraft and integrating it into a regular rhythm of your life, you are able to increase your connection to mindfulness and live a more mindful life. The next mental health benefit that I have noted when it comes to practicing witchcraft is presence in the current moment. 
This does kind of flow with mindfulness. I think they can sometimes be one in the same, but in a very strict sense, a lot of practice is being exceptionally present in what you're doing. When it comes to practicing spell work, so casting spells, there has to be deep presence in what you're doing, and for the continued working of them, presence with them. There's a lot of presence with nature and connecting to the seasons, something I will talk about a little later as well. And also just in, again, the practice of meditation or connecting to your learnings, there's a lot of presence. And being present in the moment is a really powerful way of, for me, soothing anxieties and stress. It's something that helps me immensely when I am kind of feeling overwhelmed. When I'm overwhelmed, I'm somebody that can, can procrastinate and keep pushing things till it is absolutely impossible. But when I'm able to kind of practice and observe more present moment-ness, it helps me to achieve things that I'm working toward in a much calmer and effective way. The next mental health benefit of practicing witchcraft is that it improves our focus on our goals. This directly correlates to spell work. Often we will work spells to enhance and work toward things that we are working on. So say you are working on getting a new job, you may choose to cast spells that help achieve that. In doing so, there is an increased focus on what we're working on. It keeps you looking, it keeps you pushing and seeking those opportunities. And this could be for absolutely anything. It could increase your focus on learnings or on building community, whatever you may be working toward. It's just another means of connecting to goals and maintaining growth on them. And I don't know about you, but I know for myself, whenever I am focusing on something that I want to be growing toward, it does really help me to feel happier and calmer in my life, more in control. The next benefit I want to talk about is that it can bring a really peaceful sense of routine. This doesn't have to be this way, but if you're somebody that regularly practices daily or weekly or even monthly, it can give you a routine, something that is the same to follow, something to look forward to or keep you on a rhythm or track in life. Routines are great for a lot of people and especially for me, someone who struggles sometimes with procrastination or anxiety, having something that is set in stone that I continue to work on every day or you know, however your consistency with your practice is, can help me to feel really ready to keep moving forward through my life and toward my goals. Routines are immensely beneficial and having something like witchcraft, which is something I enjoy working on as a part of my regular routine, just makes going about it more fun and exciting, which of course makes me happier and life much calmer. Another benefit of practicing witchcraft is that you are constantly learning and getting to be creative. Learning and creativity are such powerful ways to boost your mood, to manage anxieties, or just any of the feelings that you may want to manage. It keeps you pushing for new things and growth, which always feel incredible. And there's so much to learn. You'll never run out of material and the opportunities are endless. And this leads directly into our next benefit, which is that it can give you purpose. Purpose is such an important part of mental health. I know for me, having something that drives me forward makes me feel that there is a purpose in my life that I really care about that is personally connected to me. It, it really helps me. It makes me so much happier, less anxious, da 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 da, all of the beautiful mental health benefit things. You can use witchcraft to help yourself, to help others, to help your community, your family, whatever resonates most with you and feels right to you. You can create purpose out of it in any way that suits your needs and your desires. 
It's so malleable and flexible, and it's free to be whatever you need it to be. Besides, having purpose is one of the number one listed things that helps people. Having this as a driving force of continued practice, purpose, and meaning is a fantastic benefit to your mental health. And finally, witchcraft helps to connect us back to nature, which is such an important part of mental health. It can be difficult sometimes to connect to nature depending on where you're living. I know I live in the city and for me to connect to nature nowadays, it's much harder than when I lived rurally and was able to just walk outside my doors into the forest. Now it does take a little bit more effort, but with my practice, I surround myself in nature. I bring it into my home and make it a purposeful part of my days and weeks and months. I seek it out to connect with it a little more deeply, and in turn, it brings me a lot of peace and joy. And with having the driving force of the craft of a practice behind you to continue to seek out nature, you will always be in that place that does have so many benefits for our mental health. So with that, those are seven mental health benefits of practicing witchcraft. I'm sure there are many, many more, and you can get very specific with this. If you all have any that you find in your own practice, it doesn't have to be a big, well-rounded thing. It could be something as simple as a little practice that you do, such as making certain teas or little spells that help you here and there. Or it could be as big as monthly rituals, whatever feels right. I would love to hear from you. Sometimes it's really nice to sit down and step back and kind of look at how much life has changed from practices like these. So I enjoyed making this video and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you can and would like to, I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon. There I share art, herbal profiles, book recommendations, and monthly workshops. Patreon is what keeps things running over here, so I am immensely grateful to all of you who are over there supporting this. It really does make the difference, so if you want to help support this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out. I also have another channel where I share more vlogs, day-to-day -day life, magic, herbalism, all of those good things, and I also have my book that I wrote. It's all about spellcraft with a focus in herbal-based magic. So if any of that sounds good to you, all of these will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you're having a lovely day, and I can't wait to see you again soon.